for problem 6 we're given a block that slides through a frictionless surface and that has a mass of 1.5 kilograms Just moving that way and comes across a spring that has a spring constant of 85 newtons per meter and pushes it inwards Six point five centimeters. So the easiest way to go about this problem is by using conservation of energy. What conservation of energy will tell us is that the kinetic energy at point one plus the potential energy at that same point one will always be equal to some of the energies again at any other point mm, if we look at the initial condition of the system um, the potential energy is zero since all you have is movement and there is no uh, no no force that's, re that's restricting your movement at all and then once the the block pushes the whole distance on the spring and the spring is all compressed it will stop moving so that then it can start coming back to the other side and if it starts moving since uh, kinetic energy depends on the velocity the kinetic energy at that point will be zero so we know that the kinetic energy of the beginning will be equal to the potential energy when it stops and it has pushed it as far as, as it will hmm. The definition of the kinetic energy is mv squared over 2. Here we have uh, the value that we're looking for, the velocity. And the potential energy of a, of a spring system is given by the spring constant times the displacement of the, or, or the stretching or the compressing of the spring squared over 2. From here, we can get the velocity is just equal to the square root of k over m which you will later see this is actually the frequency of the oscillation times the displacement we fill in the values remembering to put them in in the same units so don't use the displacement in centimeters but convert it to to meters so that it plays well with your other units and this will be the square root of 85 newtons per meter over 1.5 kilograms times 0 0.065 meters and this is equal to around point four nine meters per second which is around point forty nine meters per second.